Hello, I'm Dr. Roberta Shaler, the Relationship Help Doctor, and this is Emotional Savvy. I want to give you some ideas today about something that I've written about extensively and I talk about frequently, and I just never made a video about it. So I thought I would share that with you today. In my book, Kaizen for Couples, you may have seen it. You can order it in print or as an ebook at Amazon. Um, the subtitle is Smart Steps for Strength for Saving. <laughs> Smart Steps to Save, Sustain, and Strengthen Your Relationship. You can see it right there. And uh, there's many, many things in here for relationships of all kinds. It doesn't have to be only a couple's relationship. It's information about how to have the best relationships possible. And I often say that there are two absolutely vital things that I teach that are the most important things that I can share with anyone. And the first one is a saying that used to be on my office wall in 12 inch gold letters. It's number one. If I could only teach people one thing, it would be that. And it's this phrase, the truth is what you do. I don't really listen to what people say until I can see that it's backed up by their behavior. And if their behavior is contrary to what they say, then I believe their behavior. And I hope you do too. For example, someone says, I love you. And they treat you as though I don't care about you or I hate you. Believe the behavior, not the words. That's number one. But today I'm here to talk to you about the second most important thing that I can teach you. And it is in this book. So there are two chapters on it. That's why I'm holding the book up. Because if you want to create love, trust, and intimacy, you have to have some tools, some strategies, some changes in perspective or mindset. And this thing that I want to talk to you about is something I created, of course. And it's called the Personal Weather Report. Now, we never want to be aggressive, but I surely hope you want to be assertive. And to be assertive means that you believe that you have the right to take up space and draw breath on this earth. Do you? Do you honestly believe right down to your toes that you have a right to be here and you have a right to express? Well, I hope so. So what the personal weather report is, is a blueprint for how to express in a way that can be heard and won't create any difficulties for you. You know, that doesn't mean the other person is going to be thrilled about it. Don't. It doesn't mean that but it will be more acceptable and you will find that you are empowered by using this strategy, the personal weather report. So it's important to know what that is. How many times do you check in with yourself during the day? How many times do you say to yourself, what's going on with me right now? Or are you so busy buying into that whole way the world says, be, be more, do more, have more, repeat? Be more, do more, have more, repeat. And you don't take the time to just be with yourself, to check in and say, what am I feeling right now? What's going on inside me? What am I thinking about? Maybe you have a feeling. You say, where did that come from? You know, maybe it happened in traffic two hours ago and you're still feeling it. But if you don't stop and come upright, you won't ask yourself that question. Because in this be more, do more, have more repeat cycle that everybody suggests we do, you know, how to be more productive, how to be more effective, how to have more, how to make a million dollars. And then all the should, 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 shoulds that go with it. It's like this. I, I This is your head and this is your feet. And it's like that encourages you to walk like this. You're walking through life like this. Now, you're leaning forward, trying to be more, do more, have more, be more, do more, have more. That's exhausting, but also you'll notice that if you're walking like this and you stop, you're going to fall on your face. And so you don't. You just keep pushing, 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 pushing. And my inv invitation to you is to come upright several times a day. In fact, with my personal clients, I invite them to set the alarm on their cell phone for five times a day. And when that alarm goes off, to come upright, and this is all in the book, talks about the whole technique, um, to come upright and say, I'm going to take a breath. I'm just going to take a breath. 
a deep breath. In fact, I encourage in here and I talk about four, seven, eight breathing. So I'm going to, my cell phone goes off. I'm going to come upright, I'm going to sit still, and I'm going to breathe in for four through my nose deeply. Hold for seven. Exhale through my mouth for eight. Deeply, deeply, deeply get rid of every last little bit. Then inhale through your nose for four. Hold for seven. Exhale through your mouth for eight. And do that at least three times or until you feel relaxed and your shoulders have come down from your earlobes. That's the preparation. And then just ask yourself for a moment. This is the personal weather report. What am I thinking? What am I feeling? What am I needing? What am I wanting? What am I thinking? What am I feeling? What am I needing? What am I wanting? You may not have an answer to all four, but those are the questions to ask yourself. To, to know yourself. Because only when you know the answers can you share them with someone you care about. So it begins with you stopping, doing the breathing, checking in, and knowing what's the weather in here? What's going on in here? And then to be able to say that to somebody you care about. Now, the whole thing about the personal weather report is it's about you. You don't mention anybody else. There is no blame in it. You are not talking about what somebody did or what they made you feel or anything. You are simply giving a weather report about what's going on in here. Okay? And that's why it's a simple technique, but not so easy. Because that's a new way of thinking. And that's important. So... You get quiet, you deep breathe, you figure out what am I thinking, what am I feeling, what am I needing, what am I wanting? And only then can you say to someone, you know, I'm really feeling a little disrespected right now. Not sure where it's coming from, but that's what I'm feeling. And I know that I need that to go away because it's disempowering to me. So I'm going to figure this out. Now I've given a personal weather report. I haven't dumped it on anybody. I haven't blamed it on anybody. I have allowed someone to know me in this moment. Now I'm not stuck with it. I may have a different personal weather report in 10 minutes, but I have allowed someone in and I have allowed them to know something about me that we could talk about. Then there's a second chapter in there on how to respond and sh share and respond to a personal weather report. And so important. So when you understand this technique, it's really important to read the book. But of course, do that. You know, it's easily available at Amazon, Kaizen for Couples. You'll remember the bright red cover. Um, but it's important to really embody this technique. And that means you use it, but you start hearing other people differently. You can hear them when they say, I'm feeling this way. And you can cut out the blame or whatever that they put around it. You can lean in. And that's a good response to a personal weather report. Tell me more. Or when did that start? Or do you remember this happening before? So you lean in and become curious about the speaker. When you give a personal weather report, you're inviting someone to lean in and learn a little more about you. Do you see how very valuable this is and how elegant it is? Because you get out of the blame game entirely. Now, of course, people are going to immediately think you're still blaming them because if you say, I feel disrespected right now, they're going to say, well, I didn't disrespect you. Well, they may do that, but you just clarify because you're different now. You're using something different. You clarify and say, no, I'm just talking about me. I feel disrespected right now. I'm trying to figure out what it is because it's kind of disempowering. If the person can't be invited into that conversation and they'll lean into you, don't worry about it. Just keep offering personal weather reports. We're not here to blame or shame anybody else or play games with anyone else or manipulate anyone else, in my opinion. I hope you share that opinion. 
So when I get clean and clear and do as much as I can to communicate really well with others, then finding a technique like the personal weather report really helps. It helps me to know that I have something that I can do that helps others hear me. And that's what you're doing. When there's no blame, shame, or game, or manipulation in it, you are allowing someone else a nice space to hear you. And you are not doing it with any energy. You are simply giving the weather report. This is my personal weather report. This is what's going on within me. And I care enough about you to share it with you. Now, I've said a couple of times it's simple, but it's not easy. Because we're used to other speech patterns. We're used to other communication methods. We're used to doing things. In fact, maybe you did training as I did 30 years ago that had something in it called the I statement, that that was supposed to be an effective way to communicate. And when I learned all about that and I was supposed to teach it, there was a part of me that went, oh, no, there's something really wrong with this. And that's when I developed the personal weather report. Because that old iMessage thing was, I feel this way when you do that. Hey, now I have ascribed my feelings to you. It's your fault I feel this way. Let's get rid of the blame game, the shame game. Let's just become clean, clear communicators about what's going on within us. Let's learn how to send a personal weather report. So again, we get clear several times a day. And we just simply go inside and ask ourselves, what am I thinking? What am I feeling? What am I needing? What am I wanting? And learn to have an answer that quickly. So if somebody that you care about wants to get into a conversation, you actually know where you're at, you know. You know what's going on within you. And you get very practiced at it. And you can tell. And when you get up to date with yourself like that, it feels so good. Because now you're not, not afraid to communicate. You can say that. You can be assertive. Assertive simply means being able to say what you think, feel, need, and want without involving anyone else and put it on the table. You know, it's like you, you put it down on the table, and if the other person can pick it up, they will. If they can't, at least you did your part. You engaged in giving them information about you. And when you do that, you're saying, I am interested in this relationship. So I hope that clarifies. You know, Kaizen for Couples, get it. It can change all of your relationships. I put 30 years of working with couples and companies and everything into this book. So it's all there for you. It's a handbook. And like I said, you can get it on Amazon. It is in print or you can order the ebook so you can have it immediately. Learn these techniques. Demonstrate you care about yourself, that you want to communicate and you want to communicate cleanly and calmly. And you can do that with the personal weather report. I highly recommend it, of course, because I created it. But I have worked with so many clients who, using this, have become empowered, know how to be clear and clean with their communication, and it has changed their relationships. And I know that's the case because they've told me. So I know it can help you too. If you have other questions about this, you can always contact me through my website, forrelationshiphelp.com, F-O-R, relationship, H-E-L-P.com. And I look forward to talking with you again soon. Take care.